Hi, I'm Asada. I'm here at Red Bay Coffee and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make espresso at home. If you're someone who drinks a lot of espresso or espresso built drinks, then this is a great thing for you to have at home. It is a pricey investment, but it's definitely worth it. Plus, you'll save a lot of money in the long run by not going to the coffee shop every single day. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to make an espresso with our Carver's Dream beans, which is an espresso here at Red Bay Coffee. This is a nutty and chocolatey kind of flavor notes, which is my favorite when coming to espresso. You wanna make sure that your espresso is very fine. And you also wanna make sure that you're grinding it right before you make your coffee. The tools that you'll be using is your porter filter. You also need a tamp, which is what's going to tamp down the coffee. And then because I'll be showing you guys how to make a cappuccino today, you'll need a pitcher and then your choice of milk. I prefer oat milk, but really it's up to you. First, you're gonna put your porter filter on the scale, tear it first without the coffee, then adding the ground coffee. I ground mine before, but you wanna make sure that when you're adding the coffee that it's around 20 to 22 grams of espresso. Then you're gonna wanna take your tamp and put your full body weight on top of it. This way you have a very clean and even espresso. This is what we like to call a puck. Now that it's clean, to test it, to make sure that everything is tamped correctly, you like to spin it and twist it. And if nothing falls out, that's how you know that you've tamped it really well. Now, you're going to want to add it to your espresso machine. Make sure that it's on tight so that no water comes out. You want to take your cup. Today, I'm using one of Red Bay's products. This is a ceramic cup from a local black artist. And we also sell them on our website, so you can check it out there. Now you're going to want to turn on the espresso machine and you're going to see that the pressure is going to be pushing through the puck and this is what's creating espresso. If your espresso is coming out a little too fast then you want to change your grind to make sure that it's a little bit more fine and if it's coming out way too slow which can also happen then you want to make sure that your espresso grind is a little bit more coarse. As you'll see, now that it's coming out, there's a beautiful layer of crema, which is that cream on top of your espresso. After about 30 seconds, you wanna turn it off. And you can see that you have a beautiful cup of espresso. You can either drink this straight, or you can add milk, like I'm going to, for a latte or a cappuccino. You can also throw it over some ice and milk and make an ice latte. You always wanna clean up after yourself. You wanna make sure that you empty out the puck into a trash can or a compost and clean it out. Cleaning out your espresso machine is gonna make sure that your machine lasts a lot longer. So now I'm gonna show you how to make a cappuccino. What you wanna do is grab your pitcher, your choice of milk. Again, I prefer oat, but you can always pick anything else. And you wanna fill it up about right under this little dip right here for a cappuccino. If you're doing a latte, you're gonna to wanna to add a little bit more milk. Now, when you're making a latte or a cappuccino, you're gonna put your steam wand one fourth inch right underneath the break of the milk. For a cappuccino, you wanna give it a little bit more air. The more air that you give it, the thicker the foam. Less air is gonna be more of a latte-like consistency, so a much thinner foam. Be careful, it is hot. As a first time, you wanna make sure that you move the pitcher up and down so that you can find a sweet spot for the perfect form of milk. Your hand is gonna be able to tell when it gets too hot. If it's too hot for your hand, then it's gonna be too hot for your mouth. Make sure to wipe off. You never wanna have any excess milk on your seam wand. You can also turn it on really quickly. You don't want to have any milk inside. Now that you have your milk, you want to tap it so that the bubbles go away. If it's a latte, you want it to look like a milk consistency, kind of like paint. With a cappuccino, you want to see that there's a little bit more foam. Pour your milk into your espresso, and if you can make latte art, you can always try. And there you have a beautiful cup of Red Bay coffee. Thank you for joining me today. If you need any more information about our products, 
beans, coffee making products, or merchandise, you can go on redbaycoffee.com.